I didn't talk about this yesterday because it wasn't. I, I forgot to look it up. Honestly, Sunday night. But, 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 but the Super Mario Bros. movie has made it almost to one billion dollars. It's about almost nine hundred million dollars worldwide. And yes, it's sitting at about eight hundred seventy-eight million dollars, but it is so close to nine hundred million. This is massive for basically super mario bros this is massive for nintendo this is a movie that just won't stop this is all still prior to japan releasing that is awesome that is cool and there's some people who um you know said one thing prior to the movie said one thing you know regarding the movie that they weren't gonna go see it and now seeing that it is punching it is one of the biggest Excuse me. One of the biggest <laughs> hiccup, one of the biggest blocks blockbuster movies of this year. Something that nobody actually kind of, none of the, you know, media person, uh, not media, Hollywood types. You know, the people that track movies and stuff. They didn't see this coming. But gamers like me, geeks like you, what have you, saw this movie and said, "Yeah, this is this is a massive movie. This this is gonna dominate." But now we have a, a somebody talk coming back out of his mouth because you have John Leguizamo and I'm just starting from here to remind you all John Leguizamo boycotting Super Mario Bros movie due to the exclusion of Latino characters they stopped gr the groundbreaking he didn't want to see the movie because they weren't asking him to come on he was pioneering this push bef when the movie was just being pitched like Months prior, almost a year prior, he said he was not going to go see this movie. He refuses to talk about this movie. He doesn't want to be anywhere near it because he's the only one that knew how to make it work. Because he, they were groundbreaking because they cast a Latino as Luigi. Even though Luigi is Italian, he was born in Brooklyn. Oh, but we race changed him back when I did the movie. No, that's not Luigi. That's somebody completely different. Luigi was lo the brother. Your whole movie was backwards. This was a more accurate depiction. This was a more accurate characters. Hey, it's good, you know. But remember, he refused to watch the movie, stopping the groundbreaking. He didn't want to watch it. He wanted to push the, uh, the you, you know, the, the boycott. Don't interact with it. Don't watch it. Don't do anything with it. Well, now, John Leguizamo would join a Super Mario Bros. sequel despite slamming the movie. Yeah. He's willing to hop on board now. He's willing to be a part of the movie now because he realized his little don't see the movie. It's not inclusive enough. It doesn't have this failed. Why did it fail? Because people didn't care. They wanted a good Mario movie. It was going to be animated. It had cast of honestly diverse characters. There was all sorts of characters in it. It had heart. People cared about it. People liked it. People enjoyed it. Oh, but because they didn't cast you, you wanted to cry about it because you were in the live action crappy version. And this was a CGI, more accurate version, animated, fun time, enjoyable. But nobody listened to you. Because you're inauthentic. This shows inauthentic inauthenticity. This cries that you don't care. You're only doing this because you weren't included. But now you're like, well, you know. Because it was so popular, if they do a sequel, I, I'd be more down for it. it. Only, only, only if they start to do the right thing and add more inclusivity, I consider it. You've got to be kidding me. It has, uh, you, you read this, read this. When casting announcements were made about Illumination's collaboration with Nintendo, there was almost universal uproar over some of the choices. No, 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 no. There was concern. There was an uproar. At the center of the storm was Chris Pratt and his voice of the iconic plumber himself, and Leguizamo was quick to express his annoyance at the lack of diversity in the casting choices. At the time, the actor said he said the movie was backwards for its lack of diversity he noted that it was too bad they went all white with no latin latinx latino Lat latino whatever leads he also claimed that he was the only one who knew how to make this movie work script wise yeah well you failed they did it without you doesn't that sting 
I think that stings for John Leguizamo. They had a movie. He made all these claims. Oh, it's bad. Don't watch it. It's not going to work without me. He made all these claims. Guess what? It worked perfectly fine without you. Why? Because they actually had Nintendo's blessing. Nintendo was heavily involved in this. Nintendo worked overtime on this movie. It kept its heart. It kept what it needed. And my God, people love this movie. This movie is baking, breaking box office records. This movie is soaring to that billion dollar mark all without Japan. Japan doesn't get in until this weekend. Korea doesn't get in until this weekend. Some European country doesn't get in until this weekend. It's going to make that billion dollars all without John Leguizamo. I, I love it. 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 But let me get you guys' thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out with friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.